so the other day I was talking about aquaponics with a five gallon bucket and I still want to do that. I just can't find cucumbers right now. I guess this is out of season. But I, I do want to show y'all what I did with some basil. So I bought these little five gallon cup or five gallon, three, three inch cups on uh, uh, Amazon. And they actually fit perfectly inside these wide mouth quart jars. Um, so what I did is I also got some of these. These are called Cocoa Core Croutons. They're basically just the husk of a coconut right there. You can see it. It's just the coconut husk. Um, so we'll take this basil because right now in Houston, with it being as hot as it is, uh, this is going to bolt soon because it's just too hot for it. But if I, if I keep it inside, uh, I can keep it going. So I'm going to go ahead and transplant this. I'm going to rinse all the dirt off, get everything cleaned off, and then I will put it into this three inch cup and then we'll uh, fill it. We'll also add some fertilizer to the water and uh, we'll get it going and put it on the windowsill. Get this basil taken out and uh, we don't have to use all of it, but I'm going to try to salvage most of it. Um, I, I grew all this from seed, um, so it should be pretty hardy. Before you take these inside, you want to go through your basil and check out the leaves because you'll see some of them have the worms. So I just want to take those leaves off, those leaves off, and throw them out and just get the good clean leaves in. So I'm just going to try to get as much dirt off as I can. All right. I'm going to take them. I'm going to try to get as much root down through the bottom as I can without damaging anything. Um, that smells really good. But I mean, even if you can't get it all the way through, I mean, they poke. They, I'll show you the roots on the other one that I transplanted about two weeks ago. They're doing amazing. I most of the roots down through the bottom. I might take this cocoa, these cocoa croutons. I'm just gonna fill it in. And get some on the outside, just to support the the transplanted basil. And I'm making a mess. Do this outside where you're not going to make a huge mess in your house. Highly suggest that. Your wife will appreciate it as well. All right, and so it, it doesn't have to be perfect because uh, once these get water in them, they're going to uh, absorb it like a sponge, and uh, you'll be able to see the difference. So I got them packed in there pretty good, though. Uh, we'll set this off the side for now. So now uh, I bought some Maxi Grow hydroponic fertilizer it's 10 5 14 and uh, it says to use one to two tablespoons per gallon so this is a teaspoon i'm gonna put about one teaspoon in here and uh if you're wondering about the water if you live somewhere where your water is not great quality i would suggest getting a ph uh ph tester and checking out your pH quality. I actually just, it's raining outside, so I just filled this up with rainwater, so it's gonna have pretty good pH. But also, I water all my plants with this water, the well water, um, and everything does fine, so I think I'm okay with the pH of it. I got my water my water filled up in my, my jar. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here. And actually, the ring for the jar will fit over and tighten it up. And I shouldn't you shouldn't have any problems with bugs or anything like that. As long as you got most of the dirt off, um, you can smell that fresh basil. It smells amazing. My wife likes to use it for meatballs. All right, and so that's the finished product. I'll take it inside and uh, put it on the windowsill with my other basil and my cilantro. And you can do this pretty much any herb. Um, you know, I wouldn't do, do anything too big in your house. You never, I, mean, I wouldn't grow watermelons in your house. Please don't grow watermelons in your house. Uh, but you could do this for small stuff. 
So I'm gonna take this inside and we'll put it on the windowsill. All right, so we're gonna come over here and put this jar next to our other basil, sit next to our cherry tomatoes and everything. Uh, we also have tomatoes up here ripening up in the sun. Uh, we have a problem with the birds, so we like to keep our tomatoes protected. But yeah, you can see my other basil is doing really well in the cilantro as well. But you just keep an eye on it, and if you need, if you need to add a little bit more water, you just top it off. You want to give the roots room to breathe, though. You don't want to uh, cover them too much. Uh, I, I added a little bit more in this one because I knew the coconut husk would be absorbing a lot of water. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, I was just uh, updating on y'all a couple of little hacks, a couple of things I figured out here recently and some stuff that I tried that maybe you want to try at home. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, share uh, with your friends. So see y'all next time.